What is up guys? Thanks for tuning in once again. As you can see, we're working on a Maserati here today. And uh, we are simply just gonna do another disassembly video. This is gonna be the disassembly of the front bumper of a Maserati. And first we're gonna start off with the clips here. We have a couple clips and underneath there's gonna be some Torx bits. So once you remove these clips, there's one, two, three, four. You simply just lift this up from one corner to another. And then you have these Torx bits here, which we're gonna get into. Uh, but we wanna start in the wheel wells as well. So I'm gonna start on the wheel well because when I start to take these apart, there's a chance that the bumper could fall forward and um, I don't want the bumper to get any more damage than it already is. So I'm gonna leave these on and probably save these closer to the end. Uh, but with that said, let me jump into it. We're gonna jump into the wheel wells and we're gonna start removing the clips and screws and everything else along the bottom of the bumper and the wheel wells. So let's jump right into it. Let me be quiet and we can get to work. All right, so before we start working on the wheel well right over here, uh, there's going to be a bolt over here and then a couple alongside the fender liner. So before we get into it, let's start by moving the wheel to the right so we have uh, greater access to the bolts we have to remove. Okay, so let's jump in here so I can show you what we're working with. All right, sorry about that, guys. I couldn't get the tripod in here. Uh, so as you can see, we have a couple star screws over here. There's one, two, three, and four. And it looks like that is it. There's a little damage on the fender liner on the inside. Uh, that's not pertaining to the the bumper so we don't have to worry about that and then there's also going to be a torque screw right here i'm going to assume it's a t30 that's one of the most common uh torque screws but it could be a t25 but uh i'll go ahead and i'll list it once i start the disassembly on this side of the driver's side um so with that said now that you guys know where those bolts are i'm going to go ahead and start removing them and we'll get moving forward is T30. Okay, so now that we've taken off the clips as well as the Torx bit right here on the end, now we're going to carefully see the seam we're gonna remove it so well, carefully I'll put a, my palm here and then I'll pull on this side so I don't pull too much because just a bit popped out there and you want to get in a little bit more and slowly remove it and you could also do it with a clip as well if you have one small enough this one's a little large so carefully just pry it out and then will be all set so that goes for that let's move on okay so now we'll repeat the process on this side for the removal of screws that hold down the bumper So we're gonna go underneath the car and normally there's a shroud underneath here that covers a lot of this down here actually all of it um, so you're gonna have to disconnect t30 bolts there's about five of them down here you can see all the way through so once you disconnect those t30 bolts then you're gonna come down over here and this is what connects to the bumper so all them sensors plug up so here's the clip 
this nice clip over here that is a pain in the butt so it goes underneath here and then here's the other here's the other side that this plugs into it should be tucked right back here uh, but I was able to finagle it out so I can have a little bit more room and then uh, take this out so basically this closes you see that it just closed so you're gonna want to pull it out and once you pull it all the way out you should be able to remove this plug there is a grommet as you can see that yellow grommet around there so you may have to wiggle it back and forth until you're able to pop it out uh, just be careful because you don't want to pull too much on this side of the wiring there's not much room so make sure you hold on here while you're pulling on this side uh, so again once you disconnect this this is all the electricity to the bumper so that goes for these sensors here you got a sensor here the sensors all over the place so you want to make sure that they're still going to function after you remove the bumper so after you do that you're going to want to disconnect these bolts which they are torques which i'm going to go ahead and remove now and then we should be able to take the whole thing off All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. That concludes today's video of the removal of this Maserati bumper on this Maserati. So thanks for tuning in. If you found this helpful, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for tuning in.